what is going on guys we are back and today we are gonna kind of continue the fence from here over to there for one thing keep the dog out because that's like the dog's area there and then we're going to the bathroom four under this existing structure i'm gonna build the gate right here and then a post and then fence fence but i just gotta make sure it'll be wide enough a if we're gonna take those back out of here and then for the trash can to fit through too what i'm doing here is i'm taking this big two by four and i'm just gonna try to make it kind of use that as a straight edge so I can see that this post will need to go on this side right here to line up nicely with that and then I'll figure out how to get the height right. I might have to use like a string line. This yellow string to the height over there I want it to be. Now the question is, I gotta figure out where to tie on this pipe here the correct height. And I guess because the grade is, the dirt level is different. So be maybe a little bit of a gassing situation without any surveying tools out here all right so i actually am not going to use concrete on these which i probably should but i don't have any i don't want to go back to home depot because it's gross in there people are coughing everywhere so the string line's not working out perfectly but what i did is i put a piece of wood across temporarily and we use a level here and i don't know what you you can see that it's pretty level so that will work for me and i'm just going to fill that in with dirt and compact it really well around that so that'll be the gate. It's pretty wide. It might be a little bit shorter. I have another one probably there. And then this will be fenced to there. So I've been thinking about how just using dirt is really, really dumb and definitely should not be done because it's not that in there. Um, I was looking in here and I see these bags and I'm pretty sure they're bags. They look like concrete mix, but I think, oh, hold on. It feels kind of hard. I don't know. We're going to see. I think it's actually mortar, though, which is different than concrete because was pretty hard no because concrete is used to like pour slab oh it's that powder and mortar is used to like put stuff onto concrete but it's better than dirt for sure so i'm going to try making some of this using this kind of stuff you always want to wear a mask but since we're in the middle of a coronavirus um there are no masks we have some in the house, but my parents would kill me if I used them because I do not think they're easy to find. But I guess today they're not using a mask. Because what it does is it produces a lot of dust, as you can see. And that dust is silica. And you can get this thing called silica run, which basically can lead to a death. There's the dust I'm talking about. Do not want to breathe that in. All over my hand. 
but you gotta do what you gotta do when there's no mask thieves. So I know when making concrete, you're supposed to add water for these ready mixes. So hopefully it's the same thing for mortar. I don't really know how much to add, but add some water here and give it a good mix if we're making pancakes, I guess. Looks like it's gonna need some more than that. And as I said, this is not the right stuff. You want to just use that ready mix concrete stuff and get it to Home Depot. But since we're not going back to the Home Depot, this is what we'll have to use. And we'll see how well it works, I guess. Um, at least if it was concrete. It was. One of the main differences I see between this and concrete is concrete has like some just basically gravel in it. And I could add that to do some gravel, but I figure we'll just try this. This is not right already. Why well, try to make it more right? Um, so we'll just dump this in here, I guess. We'll see how it goes. Uh oh, that looks a little dry. Oh, God. Okay, so clearly I messed up. But that's not a problem. We can add some more water once it's in the hole. And this is not how you should do it. This is how I'm doing it. I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. Look at that. Oof. All right. One second. So if you mix it well, you should see absolutely no dry powder left, which is totally not what I'm seeing. So what I'm going to do is if you're mixing it, you just keep adding more and more water. So now it's in the hole. Give it some water. And we're going to let that sit for a while. So since the first one went so horribly, I say we try to dig this up a little bit and then we'll do the same thing over here. Alright, so I tried again and it is very dry, but do look out here, these are all concrete bags that have been left out in the rain for a couple years. And there's no uh, sign that they were ever this. Look at concrete pillows now. So hopefully, if I add some water to that, it'll work out as it should. But I guess we'll find out. I don't know. So far I got this bottom board on here that all the planks are going to be on and I'm turning to the top right now. But since I'm by myself, I've got that side on there, I'm going to tack this side up here and try to get it all nice and level using the level and we'll see how well that goes. <laughs> close here is I'm making sure it's perfectly level right there and then I'm just screwing these runners into these kind of columns I built here and the one kind of nice thing that since these are not perfectly like straight anyways and it's still a little wet is I kind of move it around and get it all square and hopefully it will dry nice and square so it doesn't get all wonky and then on this end since I have like the rain gut I don't want to drill into the house so I'm just going to kind of leave that wedge between there, which actually worked out nice. So, got this right here. Perfect. So there's our gate. This is the long way, so that'll be the height. So I'm just gonna make sure inside's inside. All right, I'm gonna screw and screw. using one hand, though, for fairness. 
There we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, it fits. All right, so since this area is kind of tight, I think I'm going to have it open inward, so I'm going to need to take out all that dirt where it kind of slopes up there. Hopefully that won't be a problem. Um, and then I put some hinges in the back side here. I don't think I have any hinges. And then I kind of want to get one of those things you click open and then the gate will open. Just lay this little 2x3 here and then I'm just chasing it. All right, so I just got some advice from my old man that uh, the mortar may work, but what I gotta do is take some of this old concrete, break it up, so I can get some rocks. I think it's raining. All right. Got some old lava rocks here. I'm just gonna push them down into the concrete because obviously it's not all the way even starting to harden yet so hopefully this will help so it's starting to rain kind of hard so i need to put some of this stuff back inside here real quick oh goodness oh goodness oh goodness try to get all this stuff inside here not the same since there's no other where's the drill uh -oh. i think we have a drill sitting out here somewhere mm -mm. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, over there. I got this freaking thing in the way. Oh, it's cold. There's the drill. It's all right. All right. Look at the pool. It's coming down out here. But you can't tell on the video. Let's see. It's really coming down. Oh, wowzers. All right. Well, I guess we're done. Till tomorrow. Or later. I just uh, convinced the guy at Home Depot to let me in for two seconds because there's only one person left in there. And they're locking the door right now. And it's only six o'clock. And we are back today. Beautiful sunny day out. And I was able to make it to Home Depot this morning. They are still open for limited hours. So I got some the fence posts I need, the chicken wire, some more staples. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to start laying out all our fence posts. And then we're going to finish up the gate. And we'll be done. A diagonal part for the middle of the fence. So I'll go from corner to corner. And it's got some weird angles on it. So I'm just kind of traced it out as you saw earlier. <laughs> Cut them along the line. And we'll see over here. Hinges. And what I did is I just put some stuff underneath, some uh, some wedges, and able to get this nice and level here, pretty close, and this pretty close. And then I'm just gonna screw on the back side here, and I probably won't be able to show you this. It's kind of hard to hold both, and just put the hinge on like that. Hinges are on, latch is on, latch works. Obviously we need to dig this out a little bit here, but I think we're ready to do some pickets all the way along. I'm gonna do pickets on the gate part and on the fence. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna lay it all out first to try to figure out what the spacing should be. I bought around 30 of them. So we'll see how many I have to do. I decided to use a two by three as like the space between, just keep it consistent all the way down. I'm gonna do the fence first and then the gate will probably be different spacing just because so it won't be off by one when you get to the end and there's like a weird gap or they're too close together. And I'm just using a one inch staples and I'm just gonna staple these in, putting the bottom, this is the bottom of the two by four and just putting it like that. All right, so I just realized if I put the picket right at the bottom of the two by four, like I was doing for the fence part, this pick is going to be higher than all those, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to cut the same amount off the bottom of all these, so then that it will be equal with this height over here, so it's all consistent. Alright, we are done. The 
the fence and the gate are done. It's looking good. This opens, this closes, this is falling apart. Perfect. Um, keep all the animals out. Last step here is I'm gonna take this chicken wire and I'm gonna do it to the back side of all this so nothing can actually get through the gaps. And then I'm gonna put a little barrier behind the house there so they can't go around it. Um, and we're gonna be done here. So one thing I'm starting to see here is it probably would have been smarter just to build this, the pegs and the two by fours and first one piece like over there and then just attach it to these. And they even sell these like already done in the Home Depot, but they're kind of overpriced. But like when I run the chicken wire now, I'm gonna need to stop here and then start again. So it's gonna make it a little more difficult. Instead, if I built this first, I could have done the whole chicken wired and then we could have just screwed it to this post here. But you learn while you do it my first time so what can I say all right got my smaller staples in here now and actually leaving these screws exposed kind of helped just get it started because it's kind of hard to work with and I'm just gonna go along I'm gonna put the chicken wire to the top of the 2 by 4 here I'm just gonna go along and staple it in like that done now to do the gate i think i'm just gonna do from this top of the two by four to the bottom of that two by four and obviously there'll still be a gap under there but i think anyways i'm just gonna put rock all the way underneath so they can't move this chicken wire over here too so let's put rock under the gate so i don't have to worry about that so i'm just gonna do this little part here were like you kind of just want to keep putting more and more but eventually you have to say all right we got enough uh but since today california is officially locked down i'm not supposed to leave my home there's not much else to do not supposed to be hanging out with other people so i'm just staping the way out here um i'm just gonna kind of bend this extra part up here on the bottom so it will kind of like catch on the ground, but I don't know if it's too annoying. Maybe I'll cut it off eventually because I'm going to put some rocks under here so I don't have to worry about the animals crawling under either way. Just the through is what the chicken wire is doing. So uh, overall though, yeah, we're done. Uh, it looks good. It works, which is surprising. I thought it would be not perfect. See, it's dragging still, but I have to, they got the dirt there. But it's pretty nice for, I don't know, maybe $100. $100 of labor, or materials, not labor. I'm labor, I'm free. Um, so yeah, fence is done, gate is done, looks good. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time, which will be when I'm filling those up. Adios, goodbye.